Sam, we are live. We are live from Wayne, Maine. Welcome to another episode of a Spoil, Spoil the, the Beans. beans. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks for bringing your family and your, your children. Uh, those are the clocks. The clocks that go off every 15 minutes. Of course I know, you know. I know. We know you know, but maybe we have some new fans who might not know that we set it up where a clock will go off every 15 minutes and every different animal will have their turn. The frogs, the, the birds. The frogs, the birds. And we have different clocks for every animal. So enjoy that for the next and 15 minutes. And why is minutes, that, Derek? Every 15 minutes. Because sometimes, don't you want to know, Sam, when 15 minutes is up? I do. And don't you want to know like four or five different times? That way if you're like doing chores around the house. And you're like, you're, and you're like, is it 2.30 or 2.45? And what, what, what bear was that? Yes. What grizzly bear noise was that? And then, you, and then at a certain point you'll just know, ah, the, the North, North New Hampshire fratusian bear, that's 2.45. That's 2.45. And that's what you learn at this house in Ma- Wayne, Maine. And that's where we're coming from. Wayne motherfucking Maine. Wayne Maine. And Sam, I'm, I got I to gotta ask you a it? question. I got to get right into it. I got to ask what you a question. What are you going to ask me? We're, we're changing it up this episode. Oh, what are we doing? We're not sponsoring or anything? Oh, we're doing okay. all that. Samantha, can you tell me what you think happens in one of the best movies ever? I fucking love it. It's not one of the best movies ever, but I just really love it. I'm really excited because I just, I like, I've seen it so many times and I've always loved it and I fancy it. Sam, what happens? In Death Proof, the movie you've never seen that I'm about to tell you. Welcome to Spoil the Beans. We're starting right away on this one. Whoa. Okay, Death Proof. <sighs> okay. Um, a young woman moves to a new town. Oh, shit. Keep going. And uh, she's not really fitting in. Uh, she wears like all black and everyone in this town is like blonde. Oh, and, wow. Like cool. Yeah. And uh, there's like a guy at school who's like, come with me to this cool place. And it's like a cult. And there she like becomes like a vampire. This is like pretty much Twilight before Twilight. Uh, But it's not like a a vampire so much as like they're all like devil worshippers. And she... uh, She loses her virginity to like the man who's in charge of the cult. And then um, in the end, the police come and get her out. And but she was gonna kill herself because oh it's my a big, god, because they were gonna do a big suicide pact. This is the movie you thought I just said was one of the best. Movies. <laughs> you heard what I said, right? I don't know. <laughs> and in your head, you were like, "Oh, Derek would love this." <laughs> <laughs> While well, you were explaining that terrifying Netflix series, probably that sounds like some kind of Netflix series. That's terrifying, That's Sam. What is that what you're thinking about? No, I, I read a novel about that once. But you heard Death Proof and you went, oh, I remember this novel. No. I was just trying to think of an, a situation where someone would get killed. Oh. But I guess you're thinking more of an action film. No, I'm not thinking it. You, I have no idea what it's about. I'm just saying. I don't, you don't know what it's about? I, I mean, no, I've, I, I'm also meeting you in this moment. Oh. Of course I know. Hey, people who are listening, yeah, I know what it's about. I'm about to tell her the whole movie. But she doesn't get to know anything. I'm ex- so that's your movie. It's about a girl who commits suicide. She doesn't commit suicide. They save her at the last moment. Death okay. proof. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. No. Okay. You are a little off. <laughs> you are a little off. I don't know. I'm not even going to say by how much because I don't think that number exists. That's how much you were off by. Samantha, you ready to hear death proof? Yeah, let's get right into it. But before we do, okay. do you like football? I do. Do you like Instagram? I do. Well, do I have something for you to do? Pull out your phone, go on Instagram, all of our listeners, and go to Darren Bates' page. D-A-R-E-N-B-A-T-E-S, at Westland Sun underscore 56. Beautiful picture of his mother. That's him. And all you got to do is follow him. This is an ad. This is an ad. Hello. <laughs> This is our ad. This man sponsors this podcast, and all he wants you to do, it's a very simple request, is go to his Instagram and literally hit the follow button. Yeah, follow him. And if you want, if it so inclines you, send him a nice message and just say, the beans sent me. Yeah. The beans sent you. That's it. That's all we're asking. Nothing crazy. Check out his podcast, The Raw Room. 
I was literally just on it with the great Will Compton on the great from the great Bussin' with the Boys podcast on Bar School, Bar Stool. You know what I mean? Fucking Bar Stool, huge shit. Also, they're both titans. They're fucking doing big things. Go listen to the Raw Room, man. Subscribe. How you ever you listen to this podcast? Stop. Go subscribe to the Raw Room. That will also suffice if you don't have an Instagram page. Yeah, we forgive you for that. We yeah. forgive you for that. That's fine. Just subscribe to the Raw subscribe Room. Subscribe to the Raw Room. Go show our boy some love. He fucking deserves it. He's a beautiful man. He's a beautiful man with a beautiful heart mm-hmm. and I'm sure a beautiful uh, testicle sack. You haven't seen it? I thought that was something you guys did. No. I mean, I have seen it, but I didn't focus on it. Next time I see you, buddy, I'll make sure to give you testicle sack some love. Uh, <laughs> Like again, he pays for this. He pays for he pays the bills around here. So go show our boy some love. Darren Bates. Follow him on all platforms. Samantha Lee. Yes. We've never started. It's seven minutes in. Ooh, oh, okay. It, maybe even not maybe we might only be like even six minutes in right now. Yeah. To this podcast. And we're about to start the movie. We've never settled in this quick. I, I want to get started right now because Is it, I want it a long movie? No, it's just that I, I, the listeners who are here for this, they're a specific fan base, and I am a part of that fan base, and I, and I know that they're, they're like, yo, get, get to the fucking movie, and dude, I'm with you. Samantha, you ready? Yeah, let's go. I'm scared now. Don't look at the notes. Look at me. I'm not. You looking always at look at the notes, and I'm noticing. I, I, you, I you, can't you cheat. It's you know, you know that my eyesight is bad. Why would you think that I can actually read what's on the notes? It's more of a gauge to see how far we are through the movie. I'm really excited because you are, your guess, you were so wrong. Yeah. But the, the person's movies that this is, we both adore and love. And we just watched one of his movies last night. Oh, really? Who is it, Sam? Tarantino? What did we watch last night? We watched Inglorious Bastards. You've seen most of all Tarantino movies. I've seen several. I've That's seen... what I'm saying. He only has 10. Glorious Bastards. His nine, actually, te- in his category. They're technically ten, but he, in his world, he has nine. He's only made nine movies. Wow. And that's what I'm saying. You've seen, you've seen mostly all of them, but you've never seen this one, and you hadn't even heard of this one. I've never even heard of this beautiful. one. Beautiful. Beautiful, dude. This is amazing. Because Sam respects movies like Tarantino that. movies. Huh? I do like Tarantino movies, but I'm not like into movies like that where I know everyone's movies. And mm-hmm. But I, I, he's, only, he's only made a, so many movies and you've seen mostly, it's hard to, I, it's, I can't do many Tarantino movies for you on the podcast because you've yeah. seen them all is my point. But you never saw this one and I was always excited to do it. And we were watching The Glorious Bastards last night and we were both so into it and I was like, she deserves another Tarantino movie. Because I knew it was on the list and I was like, I bet she's never even heard of it. I bet it slid right by her. Yeah, I never, I've never heard of it. Is this one of the early ones? Oh no, this came out in 2007. I don't even remember hearing about this, this movie. This one slid right by you. I was 17. Uh. Okay, come back. Okay. Come back. <laughs> I need 30-year-old Sam. Not yeah. the, you almost got lost in 17-year-old Sam. Yeah. You ready for this? Let's do it. Credits roll. We see a girl's feet. A film by Quentin Tarantino. Greatest director of all time. No questions. No questions. He's the greatest. Dope-ass cowboy music playing, of course. Mm-hmm. Death Proof. All right. Credits roll. We see the girl's feet tap into the music like it's outside the window, like of a car. Yeah. Right. As they're driving down the street. We see a fat cut to We see a girl walking through her apartment and she's just a fat black ass. Ooh. I mean, her ass is fat. Ooh. Right. She's in her undies. Ooh. Okay. And then. It's a great uh, cuts. Yeah. Uh, uh, she lays down on her couch and she grabs a bong and she rips it. And nice. she's super beautiful. This, this black girl is gorgeous. Okay. Uh, credits are still rolling. You know, it's a Tarantino style movie. We see a, you see like a car. We're from, but we're looking at it from the angle of a car with like a skull on it, and it's driving as the credits are still rolling. Right, this cowboy music still is playing. Is ba- there a time period we kind of sense? Oh, uh, modern. Modern. Okay. Modern day. Uh, back to girl smoking. All right. She looks out her window. She sees her friends, the black girl, walking up to her place, like this white girl and this other girl. Like this other look, like white looking girl, right? Yeah. City of Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. It's Austin, Texas, right here. It's Austin, Texas story. This is a Texas story. This is a Texas tale. We're gonna be doing some Texas tales. <laughs> We're doing some Texas. Oh, tales. you didn't tell me there was gonna be Texas on these tales. <laughs> oh, Sam loves Texas now. Oh don't, boy. Don't, don't oh, no. Them no, too no, much. no. They'll know why we're excited about Texas later. But yo, boy, I know you're a little revved up when it comes to Texas right now. We're getting all Texas. Oh. I got my blue jeans on. I know you got. Oh, you I got don't your wear blue jeans, jeans everywhere. You hey. your, you don't wear, you, Sam don't wear blue jens every day. <laughs> That's uh-huh. darn tootin'. 
Mm -mm. So the girls are cut to the girls are in the car, right? It's the white girl, this Mexican looking girl, right? But she's white too, but she looks kind of like Mexican, but she's like from New Jersey. Like Puerto Rican, New, maybe? New Jersey accents. Or Not Puerto Cuban. Rican. Yeah. So maybe something like that. Uh, and the black girl's giving them both shit for never having weed. Mm -hmm. Right? The white girl has a southern accent. She's clearly from like Texas or something. Okay? And she's giving them shit for never having weed. And the white girl's like, oh my God, well, you always have an attitude. And the black girl's name is, they keep calling her Jungle Julia. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's her name, Jungle Julia. She's got beautiful, long black hair. It's mm -hmm. curly. I mean, she's gorgeous. Do right? we recognize any of these actresses? No. Uh, the, the, the girl, not the white girl, the black girl, but you recognize the uh, the New Jersey, the girl from New Jersey that she's oh, yeah. she's from Boston or some kind yeah. of shit. You know what I mean? Wh where do you recognize her from? Just stuff. Okay. You know, just stuff. But she's and you and I don't know her name, but she's one of the, like oh I recognize she's been in lots of stuff. All right. But the other actors, they're all great, and so I love to. They're all great, but no names. Super dope. Okay. All right. So the white girl. uh you know, they're talking shit. and they, But you can see they're all best friends. Like, when they're talking shit, they're all best friends, clearly. And the black girl, uh, they, they pass a billboard, and it has Jungle Julia on the billboard. Ooh. All right? And they all go, woo, they all cheer. Yeah. Right? Who is Jungle Julia? Okay. Yeah. So they start talking about men. You know you know his movies. They're just talking. Yeah, it's dialogue. all dialogue. All it's dialogue. a play. It's a play, dude. So they're talking about men, and we see another billboard. They cheer. Every time they see a billboard, uh -huh. they cheer. Yeah. Okay? Because they're, they're homies. They're proud of their girl. Mm-hmm. So they plan to meet with these other girls later, and then these other guys, and then they're going to go to this bar, and then they'll go eat here. They sound very L.A. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, they just sound like, you yeah. know what, people are just, they're, they're just doing, doing stuff. stuff. Constantly. <laughs> I, me and Sam didn't operate like that in L.A. We are pretty chill. We were chill. We were like, yo, I'm chilling during the day. We're doing our thing, and then at mm -hmm. night we'll Is go. There's, well, we'll there's go a lot stuff. of stand-up to be done. I yeah. need to rest. I need to rest during the day. I don't know how people are out doing bop, 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 bop all day. So... They're, they're talking to one of the girls, the New Jersey girl, about how she didn't she didn't fuck this guy last night, right? And the friends are trying to get the details out of her. And she's like, hey, I did everything but, you know, but, I, you know, I, I didn't fuck him. And so the white girl is like, all right, well, that's cool. We'll tell him we'll see him tonight. We'll see what's up. Like the guy. And then she goes, oh, by the way, tomorrow when we go to my dad's lake house, you guys know the rules. Girlfriends only, no guys. Mm -hmm. No boys. And the black girl's like, oh, come on. She's like, hey, no boys. She's like, other than my father. And she's like, you guys know my father there. And she's like, but... I can't. She's like, he's a sweetheart. He's just, you know, na all that naked poontain walking around his house. He just wants to peek. He's harmless. And they're all laughing, right? He's like, he's harmless. He's harmless. He just wants to look around and, and get a look, you know? So they start talking about that. And then they start talking about smoking weed again and how they need to go get some weed for the lake house because uh -huh. they don't want to have to score weed from one of the guys. Whoop -de -whoop. They don't want to have to deal with the guys for shit tonight. It's a girl's night. Uh -huh. All right? Uh and then right then they go, oh, the girl goes, oh, hey, this is the last bill, billboard before, like, you know, the next mm -hmm. exit. And the girl's like, oh, the black girl's like, oh, come on, let's not do it again. And she's like, hey, we said we were going to do it every time. And they're like, all right, woo, and they cheer, right? So they stop for something, like at a gas station for, like, cigarettes and shit. The, the girl from New Jersey is smoking a cigarette, and she's staring, she looks out at the street, and there's a dope-ass black car that comes to a stop in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. All right, sick as fuck. And they're just staring at it. You can't see who's inside. And the car just speeds off. And she keeps smoking her cigarette. Okay? The movie just cuts. All right? So what's cool about this movie is it's it's a, it's a made in the, in the style. Because, you know, he's so yeah. interesting. He made this in the style of certain horror movies back in the day. Ah. So it, it's, not, it's not a horror movie. It's okay. not. Okay. So it just, but it, it's made that so it like. In the way, like, not the, but like cheap horror movies that you go see. So the movie just cuts. Sometimes it repeats itself. Yeah. Like the scene will jump back a second. You know what I mean? Because he wanted the feeling of you were going to see it in some cheap theater. Uh huh. Like okay. some cheap horror theater. So that's what I mean. It's like, it's artistic in that way. So it's like, it's, you can't, I mean, it's hard to explain that, but like, it's cool to just know that, yeah. like, damn, this motherfucker was like just on some different shit. You know what I mean? Just different director shit. Different okay. director shit, Quentin. So the movie just cuts and they're immediately getting drinks together at this other place. Mm -hmm. And they're hanging with this other beautiful black girl named Marcy who's an actress. Whoop, whoop. And the Julia girl, you find out she's a radio DJ. That's why she's famous. Mm. All right? Around town. Mm -hmm. Okay? And she said something on the radio today about the girl's name is Butterfly, the New Jersey girl. Mm. All right? That's her name is Butterfly. What did she say about her? She said, like, you know, and she's like, what do you got? She's like, well, I'm going to have my girl Marcy act it out. And the girl Marcy is like, all right, she pretends that she's hitting on her. And then 
And she's like, all right, where's this going, right? And she's like, just, you know, the black girl's like, be patient, girl, just let it happen. And she goes, the woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. If a guy comes up to you tonight, and this is Julia goes, and says that, and buys you a drink, you got to give him a lap dance. And she's like, what the fuck? I ain't doing that shit. Like, girl, what you saying? She's like, hey, I said it on the radio. I said my friend's coming to town. And if a guy wants a lap dance from you, because she's a, a shock DJ, yeah, you know, yeah. she's like, and I said you would do that. So don't be a chicken shit. You got to do it. And she's like, yo, I'm not doing that. Like, fuck that shit. I'm not doing it. And she's like, yo, well, then you're going to be forever chicken shit. And she's like, fine. Mm-hmm. Right? She's like, I said it on the radio. Okay. So cut to. I thought you love it because you know every you're like this is Tarantino everything everything matters something something but then some stuff doesn't matter and you don't know what's what yeah that's the hard part with him or it does matter or it does matter so does it she goes hey I said on the radio you would only do it to the first guy so whoever comes up and asks you you can lie if you don't want it and say you already did it earlier and boom it's still a free drink and the girl's mm. like all right and she goes and maybe after a couple free drinks. Some hot guy, you know, that's kind of funny, kind of this, and maybe you want to fuck him, comes up and goes, hey, says the poem. You know, you can decide, you know, maybe you ah. did, maybe you did, maybe you didn't have the dance already. Understand? And the girl like smiles, right? Mm-hmm. So the girls cut to, time goes by. The girls come out that bar, they're all drunk. They're da- like falling over, they're laughing, just having the best time ever. The way girls do. You know girls. You know girls. Guys, you know girls. That's the best. Going yeah. out with your girls and like just being like the worst at a at like a bar. At a pl- and you're just drunk and a no- obnoxious. And you don't know that you're the worst. You're like, I'm the best. <laughs> 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 Everyone loves me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are really awesome that way. Uh, <laughs> good times. Good times, Sam? Uh. So... They come out drunk, right? And you hear a guy laughing, like a deep laugh. And uh, you see a dude watching them from a distance. Mm -hmm. And then he flips down the mirror. It's in that black car. Mm -hmm. And there's pictures of him (sighs) in the visor. All right? Mm -hmm. The visor flips open. It's Kurt Russell. What? I love Kurt Russell. I know you do. (laughs) Who doesn't love Kurt Russell? He's awesome. All right, you see him put Visine in his eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cut to another bar. We see the Julia girl, long, beautiful. I mean, this is that long, beautiful black hair, that natural curly, you know, just gorgeous Mm -hmm. shit. And she's just swinging it, she's dancing, her ass is shaking, and she's smoking a cigarette, you know. And then you see the butterfly girl dancing, and she's got short shorts on, just super Mm -hmm. hot. And then you see the guy dancing up on her is the Derek DeCoco guy from Inglorious Bastards last Derek night. Derek DeCoco? It's him. I and love a, him. And a Terrence, I love that I he uses the same DeCoco. guys. I'm Derek DeCoco. DeCoco. <laughs> so it's him, right? And they're chilling and they're drinking. Mm-hmm. And they call uh, another friend of theirs. Like, hey, bitch, you got to get over here now. We're having a good time. We'll do it, right? They cut music on. She goes outside to talk. Like uh, the black girl, she's outside on the phone. Like, girl, get over here now. We see at the bar, the Bear Jew. Remember the Bear Jew last night? Oh, my gosh. Everyone's in this movie. It's a Tarantino, dog. I knew you were going to be excited. We see the Bear it's Jew. It's a reunion. It's a reunion. <laughs> Actually, no. This is the first one. Okay. That I'd seen a lot of them in the reunion. Yeah, Glorious Bastards would have been the reunion. So we see them at the bar talking, right? And the Bear Jew's talking to the white girl about trying to get to her lake house. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I said, no guys. Mm. You know? So we see the Julia girl cut to it's a sweet, innocent shot. The Julia girl is the black girl. And it's a sweet, innocent shot of her. Like, the music gets real sweet. Yeah. And she's texting a guy. Ooh. And you see her, like, actually showing emotion. Like, I miss you. Mm -hmm. You should come hang out with us tonight. And then the other guy texts back. And it's like, I miss you, too. And she's like, you know, she's, like, all excited, right? But, like, hiding that. Mm -hmm, Okay? Ooh. Sensitive. Sensitive. So, right then you see a guy named Warren. They go, Warren, come on, a round of drinks. Come on, and they're like, and one of the girls goes, Who's Warren? She's like, Oh, Warren owns this bar. And the bar owner comes up, it's Quentin Tarantino. Ah. Tarantino is like, Yo, we're all going to take shots. And he gets them all a shot of some shit. And they're like, What the fuck is this shit? And he's like, Oh, just shut up and take it. They all take it. Woo. The butterfly goes, He's like, Another one. And he's like, Butterfly girl's like, I'm going to get a you know, cigarette. You know, I need a cigarette, guys. And she goes outside. It's raining hard as shit. She's smoking. She's sitting on a bench. Inside the bar, Quentin Tarantino yells, he's like, hey, cut that other light on. Somebody cut, flips the light switch, right? Outside, you see the girl smoking. 
a light goes on, you see the car that she saw earlier in the day. Ooh, yeah. All right? And she's looking at it. And she gets up. She just keeps smoking her cigarette. And she's staring at it. And as she's staring, the Derek DeCoco guy comes up behind her and goes, hey. And she goes, ah! And she's like, god damn it, you scared the shit out of me, mm-hmm. you know? He's like, what's going on? And he's like, she's like, oh, just get out of me. She's like, she's like, get away from me. Let's go back in. He's like, come on. I figured we can go make out a little bit more. Mm. And then she's like, ah. And he begs her and he begs her. And she's like, oh, finally she caves. She's yeah. like, all right. Six minutes. That's it. But six minutes. Deal. Six minutes. She said, that's out. all you get. She said, I'm timing it. Deal or no deal. I don't want to hear no whining, no begging, no none of that shit after that. Or you get nothing else forever. And he's like, fine. Six minutes. You won't hear nothing from me. She's like, all right, let's go. And by the way, two, you have two jobs. Kiss me good. and Don't fuck up my hair. And then she goes uh-huh. and they go. They leave, right? Uh-huh. So we see Kurt at the bar. Kurt Russell. He's got like a dope ass jacket on, right? What kind, and, like, like a long like a, no like a matrix? NASCAR jacket Ooh. like he's a driver yeah you know you see a dope you know there's dope country music playing he's killing nachos mm-hmm. he's just killing nachos the jacket has like icy hot on it like like that would have been his team you know what I mean mm-hmm. he uh he's eating the bear Jew is next to him talking to another friend of his about how we gotta get these girls fucked up bro we gotta get them fucked up so we can get to the lake house and the one guy's like dude she already said no guys at the lake house and he's like bro a couple more drinks, we get him some Jägermeister shots, and then all of a sudden, no guys at the lake house turns into maybe a couple guys at the lake house. And the guy's like, man, maybe you're right, bro. Nice. And I was listening to this, like, wow, that's literally your that's brother. How, yeah. <laughs> that's how your brother said And my brother's like, yeah, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> How's he sound, Sam? I don't, I, I don't wanna out my brother. You don't wanna make fun of him? He's a fan. <laughs> yeah, that's true. he's a nice guy. Oh, it's, that's fine. I'll let it go. I want to make fun of him, but you're right. It's not. It's, we shouldn't put his how he is on blast. It's his life. It's not like he's really like that. I think he just. It's. It's funny it's to hear. Bit. <laughs> you think it? No. He, he, I like. It's a bit to it's you. A bit. That's a bit to you. It's, it's definitely a bit. not a bit. It's, it's a, it's a, bit. It's a bit. bit. It's a bit. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> he just even lost his virginity yet. It's all a bit. All right, boo boo. So it's a bit. It's a bit. Her 22-year-old brother is a virgin who is not extremely aggressively weird when it comes to sex. <laughs> At least from the stories I've heard. Woo, I feel bad for young ladies. It's like, this is what they're dealing with? <laughs> Jeez. But then again, I don't know how I was. Maybe I was bad, too. I don't know. How did you talk about it? I don't know. I was always pretty sweet. I've always been the kind of guy, man, I like to make girls come. Does that make sense? That's always been my personality. Is I want to get I've this girl to come. I've always been the kind of guy that's like, I'm gonna make him come. I like to make him come <laughs> because that's where the power lies. When you get that, like, no, the real power is what? the massage. No, Sam, you just want a massage. <laughs> I'm not massaging. I'm not stopping the podcast to give you this woman. That's all she wants. We've never had sex. We've never had sex. I've only <laughs> given her massages. And it's it's like you know that uh, that story of the guy who he stayed alive because the king would kill pe- his storytellers every night. And so a guy, <laughs> <laughs> a guy didn't end his story. It was, uh, it was no, they were all the concubines of uh, some some girl, and she and she would tell a story, Sultan or something, yeah, and, and she and, just kept telling, and along she kept never finishing it. And then you'd be like, oh, I'll tell oh, you tomorrow the next night. night, right? And that's what she does with me with with the massages. I don't understand how I do it either. It is she pulls magic. it off. I've never had sex with this woman. It's pretty intense. We've been together a long time. It is built up. I'll say the least. But since we've been together, you're the only person I let massage me. I don't even know if that's true. Except for that one Asian guy. See? I, exactly. And there's been some lady I know, lady Asian ladies who've definitely touched your feet. I've seen that. I've mm-hmm. seen that with my own eyes. And some white women. And some white women. That's true. And some white women. No black women, though. You're racist. It always comes back. Racist. So, where are we? Kurt Russell's eating nachos. Kurt Russell's. How did we get here? He's chilling at the bar. He's eating nachos. How did you get from Kurt Russell all the way to me being racist? I don't remember how we got there at all. Okay. So, Kurt Russell's eating the nachos. He's eating nachos, right? The boys are talking about getting to the lake house. Oh, that's what the boys are talking about. That's what it was. was, (laughs) You see, they show Kurt Russell, he has a huge Mm -hmm. cut on his eye. Right? But he looks dope as shit. Like, he looks just cool as fuck. You know what I mean? So he, like a uh, scar scar? Yeah, like a scar scar. Like scar. Like scar lion the lion. lion. Like scar the lion. I, I, that's what I meant by scar scar. Scar scar. Oh, that's scar. Yeah, there's only one scar scar. That is true. <laughs> and we ain't talking about scar Joe. 
Because that's a different scar. That's a different scar. Uh, so our boy got a huge scar on his face. The bear Jew and the other friend are kind of like making fun of how he looks, mm -hmm. but he's just completely unfazed, right? You see him just peek behind, and he keeps looking at the girls who are dancing now. They're in the mm -hmm. bar. They're all just dancing, having a good time. That's okay. these things happen. The one girl comes back from making out with the guy, mm -hmm. the Derek DeCoco. DeCoco. They come back from making out, and the girl, the black girl, Julia, she knows it, right? She kind of calls it out. They're talking, and then the one girl, the New Jersey girl, hey, did y'all hear about what happened to that girl at the bar? I overheard some girls talking in the bathroom. And she goes, wait. And she goes, and then the black girl goes, yeah, I heard about what happened. Fuck that hippie bitch. She's like, damn, why are you acting like that? You know, do you even hear? And so right then, you hear the girl. There's this other pretty girl at the bar who's by herself. Uh -huh. And she goes, hey, Warren, you know anybody here that can give me a ride home? And Kurt Russell finally speaks. And he goes, your chariot awaits, my lady. And he kind of like drops his keys on the counter. Uh -huh. Okay. And then she's like, okay. And he's like, well, I'm not leaving yet. But if you're free, if you don't mind waiting, I'll get you when I'm ready to go. Right. And she's like, oh, well, uh, you think you'll still be OK to drive? And he's like, just water, not drinking. You know, and mm -hmm. she's like, OK. And she starts kind of flirting with him. And she goes, well, why are you here? It's kind of suspicious you're here not drinking at a bar. He goes, I'm here for the things that a bar offers here for the nachos, the women, interesting characters. And she's like, oh, what are you, some kind of cowboy with cowboy wisdom? And he's like, no, I'm not a cowboy. I'm a stunt man. Easy to easy to make that mistake. I understand. <laughs> and she's like, OK. What's your name, Icy? Because she's looking at the jacket, right? Uh -huh. And he's like, name Stuntman Mike. And she's like, that's your name. Tarantino loves Stuntman. Did, I know, right? Oh, Sam, wait till you hear what this movie's about. This movie's awesome. You don't even know yet. <laughs> so he goes, uh, name Stuntman Mike. God, he does love Stuntman. Even once upon a time, I was watching that the other day. Yeah. I've been on a Tarantino kick the last couple of days. We watched Django the other day. And we watched Django the day before. Yeah, we've Django. just... Django, you've always been around. Watching Inglorious last night was that so was fun. fucking good. I haven't watched that in a long time. Uh, I've watched it recently. But watching it again, I just love it. I've just been on a Tarantino kick. His movies are perfect. So... Yeah. This is cool. Oh, this is... And I haven't even gotten I haven't into it I haven't even yet. gotten into it. I keep getting... Uh, just sucking... It's him. Dialogue. Just yeah. sucking you in. And you're not even getting all the dialogue. I'm giving you all the dialogue I can give you. <laughs> so... You know, stuntman Mike. And then she's like, that's your name. Ask anybody here, darling. They'll say that's my name. And then she goes, Warren, what's his name? And Tarantino's like, stuntman Mike. And he's like, told you. And she's like, oh, like she can't believe it, right? So time passes. The girls keep getting more fucked up, more fucked up, right? Mike <clears throat> looks at the Warren guy. He's like, well, I think it's time for my last drink. The big one. A virgin daiquiri. Mm. It's a virgin daiquiri, right? The girl who needs a ride home, she like pays for it for him and like preach. Like she's just talking to him, being being nice and shit. You see the butterfly girl put on a song. She's shaking her ass. She's sexy. It's sexy as fuck. It's like a slow song. She looks over at Mike and she's just looking at him because she's just curious. Like, what's this guy's deal? Mm -hmm. You know, the girl who needs a ride looks at stuntman Mike and she's like, you keep looking over at that table with those girls. Something really got your eye over there. Mm -hmm. And he goes, is that one girl on that billboard? And she goes, yeah, that's Jungle Julia. She's a fucking cunt. Fuck her. Fuck her. And Mike goes, what? And she goes, yeah, that girl slept her way to the billboard. And she's like, what did she do to you? And she goes, we went to kindergarten through high school together. That's what she did to me. That's why I remember when Julia was talking shit about her. Yes. They know each other. She called her a hippie bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's like, fuck that hippie bitch. We'll do it, right? Yeah. Okay. And that's why she was like, I went, they, so they've been high, they know each other. Yeah. All right. And she's like, uh, we went to kindergarten. Remember, that she was that height since so she was 12 years old. And she would fucking rub it in everybody's face. She'd beat you up and she'd do all kinds of shit. And she's like, oh, wow. So just because she got your chocolate milk when you were a kid, still fuck her. She's like, fuck her. And first off, she may have beat me up a couple times, four to be exact. But she never got my fucking chocolate milk. Fuck Julia. Ooh. Right? So cut to the girls hanging out. This is the, the original girls, the Julia and her friends, uh -huh. hanging out outside the bar. Yeah. I could never have described this story. It's like, how could I have ever guessed this? <laughs> Any of this. Yeah. Unless you've seen it. Right? His movies are so original. You've never seen this yeah. movie. I've never, I have no clue where this is going. <laughs> Isn't that why it's so good? 
Yeah, that's why it's great. Because once I started telling you Joanna Man, you were like, you love, because I think you didn't love Joanna Man, but it's for. I knew what it was. You were like, oh, are we talking about a guy's going to pretend to be a girl and and we're going to, and everybody's going to have to act like. We all pretend like we didn't notice. Like we didn't notice he had a huge penis and balls. Okay. Seen this movie before in different versions. Because you're right. I now, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry is that movie. Just a different version. Like, oh, they're pretending to be gay. There's that. There's uh, She's the Man. Yep. There's uh Oh, we've already gone we've over gone through this. this. Anyway. Okay. Th- this is not that. This is not this that. Is the this opposite is its own thing. I could never even dream of describing this. It's fucking... I can't wait. I'm so excited telling you this because you still don't know where it's going. So... The girls are hanging outside the bar and they're smoking weed. They're getting high. They're smoking a bowl, right? And Kurt Russell, he's sitting outside. He's smoking a cigarette. And he looks over and he's like, I'm sorry. And he looks, it's the Julia girl. And he goes, I got to just ask, are you, are you famous or something? Like, what, what do you do? And she's like, what I do is work my ass off to get my record label off the ground. But why, you, why I'm assuming you're asking and why everyone keeps asking to take pictures with me, I'm a DJ. You know, like a big radio station here in Austin. And he's like, wow. He's like, you got a, a big billboard right up by Kahunga, right? Like Kahuna, right? And she's like, yeah. And one right there. And she points. And she has a huge billboard like uh-huh. right there. And he's like, whoa. And she's like, I'm Stuntman Mike. And she's like, good to meet you, Stuntman Mike. I'm Jungle Julia. These are my girls. We're uh, smoking a little weed if you want to. She's like, uh, we're getting our weed. Like she, says, she says, we're getting our weed on if you want to get some of this. And he's like, huh, actually, thank you, Julia. But no thanks. I got to. Huh, <laughs> and he walks off. Gosh, and they, that's and, horrifying. Right? And they go, what the fuck? <laughs> right? So inside, you see Stuntman Mike talking to these other group, like this other group of girls come in that know uh-huh. them. And he's talking to them, right? And they're asking about like what he's Stuntman for. Uh-huh. And the girl he took, he's giving her at home. And he's saying, oh, I was doubling for Gary Clark. And, you know, I did all his car stunts. And he starts naming like, oh, an old Virginia and Texas this and old Turbine, like all these old shows, right? Yeah. And they're all looking at him. He's like, no one knows what the hell I'm talking about, huh? And huh. they're all like, no. And then one girl, the, the girl he's giving her at home goes, how does one become a Stuntman, Stuntman Mike? Well, when you're willing to fall downstairs for money, that's one way. But uh, me, my brother got me into it. She goes, who's your brother? Stuntman Bob. <laughs> so cut to Julia. She's texting the guy. Remember the guy she was all smitten with earlier? Uh-huh. She's like, you asshole, I can't believe you. And he's like, sorry, I'm not going to come. Uh-huh. And she's like, oh, you suck, right? Her and Butterfly are holding each other. Mm-hmm. And they're drinking. And the Butterfly, girl, she goes, well, homeboy's not coming, so... Do you want to go to the, like, we're going to the lake. Should we invite boys? And then Butterfly's like, I thought homegirl said no boys at the lake. She's like, yeah, but if we talked her into it, she, she'd let us bring a boy or two. Do you want to ask him? And then she goes, nah, just the girls. And Julia's like, that's my girl. Just the girls. Right? And they're all huddled up. Right then, Kurt Russell walks out. Mm-hmm. Right? And he gives Julia a beer. I mean, not Julia. He gives Butterfly a beer. And he goes, uh, the woods are lovely dark and deep but I got promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep and of course they both pop up like oh shit oh shit you knew this was coming yeah. back didn't me don't you love Tarantino because it's, oh. like, it's been enough time that you forgot about it I forgot about it but, but then as soon not as he a- brought out the beer I was like wait a second oh yeah and this nigga you already know he's got pictures of him in his car uh-huh. like he's stalking him what do you think of Stuntman Mike so far? I don't know what to think. Also, what's he going to do with this other girl that co- he's taken home? What's happening? What's his plan here? There's a lot of women to juggle. <laughs> I he know. can't rape and kill them all. <laughs> Who said he's a rapist or a killer? I don't know. But he's acting like one. Is he? It's creepy that he has their pictures up in his car. That would be that. That's the only thing mm. for sure that for sure, for sure. I will say that's a check. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. Kind of creeped out. It's a little creepy. Also, the way you're painting him gives me the vibe that he's a creepy dude. He's also cool, but that's the Tarantino thing. Yeah. Where the bad guy is cool. Yeah. In Glorious Bastards, Django, the bad guys always bad got guys always cool. Always got swag always. to him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, Bill. Kill Oh, Bill. God, Bill's got the Bill's most swag. Cool. Bill's super cool. I love that you brought up Bill. Let's keep going, shall we? So, 
I just love that you brought him up. So, uh, <clears throat> the Julia girl goes, um, uh, sorry, stuntman Bert. And he goes, it's Mike. She goes, Mike, she did the dance already. He missed it. He looks at her. He goes, is that true? Did I already miss my chance? She doesn't say anything. He goes, do I frighten you? And she nods. He goes, is it my scar? And she goes, no, it's your car. He goes, oh, sorry. It's my mom's car. She smiles. And then she goes, have you been following us? He goes, no, but that's Austin. He goes, no, but that's Austin, Texas. It's a small place. You know, I saw you too. He goes, you saw, and she goes, yeah, but we saw you twice. She goes, yeah, but I saw you, and then I saw you here. She goes, yeah, but I saw you. I saw your legs. You saw my car. You know, who's really following who? She goes, so you're not following us. He goes, no, ma'am, honest to God, I'm not following you. I just got lucky. Now, how about that lap dance? And then Julia is like, like I said, she did it earlier. And then Mike goes, no, she didn't. And then she's like, how do you know? And he's like, oh, I know. You look, you look wounded slightly. And she's like, why would you say that? Well, you expected guys to bother you all night. And that didn't happen. And that really hurt your feelings, didn't it? And you can see the girl's like eyes kind of like, you know what I mean? Like just big. Like who the fuck is this dude? Yeah. Because Kurt, he's also saying it in that smooth voice, yeah. you know? And he goes, uh, and you know, and he goes, and it's few things worse than seeing a hurt angel. So how about that lap dance? And she goes, you know, stuntman Mike, how about a rain check? And what? Goes, right? And he goes, well, I'll be on my way. You'll be on your way. A rain check's worthless. But okay. I understand. I make you uncomfortable. You're Did a nice girl. No, you didn't touch her. No, you just, he goes, you, you just touched her. He goes, you're a nice girl, and, and I like you. But I must warn you. People say. Then he goes, you know, people have a I must warn you. You know that saying people say? You're okay in my book. Or, you know, you're good in my book. Mm -hmm. He says it like that, too. Yeah. And he goes, well, I actually have a book. <laughs> and he pulls out a book, and he's like, and darn tootin', everyone I meet goes in it. And now I met you. And, well, you're going in the book. <laughs> but I must file you under chicken shit. And she goes, she snatches the book. And then she goes, what if I did it, huh? What if I did it? Then what? Am I still chicken shit? He goes, well, you wouldn't be chicken shit. That's for sure. And she goes, well, let me tell you something, stunt man, Mike. I'm Butterfly. My girl, Jungle Julia, says there's a jukebox in that place. It's pretty impressive. So I want you to go in there and get, cut something off and get ready for your lap dance. Yes, ma'am. He walks in. Oh my God! How Tarantino is that scene? Tarantino. Just the dialogue was that not? Because it, it might as well have been an action fight scene. Ooh, yeah. It was like what? It's gonna. Also, I love the, the way she said it. The way she said, "Well, my," because that's the way Tarantino talks in his movies. It's the alliteration of, "Well, my friend Jungle Julia says that place has a jukebox. It's pretty darn good." Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like who the fuck talks like that? Like unless they're in a play. It's the way people talk, like when. Uh, when they feel like they're in a movie. You know, when sometimes they, yeah, when some, like you're on a first date or. Yeah, I do know what you're talking about. You kind of like say in things, the zone. And you say things that you like, you're just always flowing out of you. I would never say that in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the Julia friend looks at her and she's like, What the fuck are you doing? I said, A hot guy. Right? And then they both laugh. Cut to inside. He's sitting in a chair in the middle of the bar. Everybody's around looking. The music starts playing. It's a. Uh, he wears a red bandana and a cool piano in the honky tonk of Mexico. And it's like playing like real slow, right? Mm -hmm. And then she's dancing real sexy for this dude. And she's like giving him a straight up lap dance. Like she's got his hands on, like she's rubbing on him. Yo. She's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and like it's like him and, and it's Kurt Russell. It's like, yo, this, you know what it reminded me of? The Pulp Fiction scene where Travolta and Homegirl are dancing. Uh -huh. It's like that where you just like, yo, this, like it's this Get girl. into it. Like she, exactly. Yeah. Like and he's like, grind, you know, like yeah. holding her. And she's, and she's working it. She's working it too, right? And you see him smiling and shit. The movie cuts again. Mm -hmm. The girls are all outside hanging out. All right? Like all the girls. Like the girl he's giving a ride to and then those girls. Mm -hmm. He walks up and he goes, ready to go? And he starts walking towards his car. And she's like, all right, later girl. The girls say bye to their girls and then she starts walking off with him. The Julia girl looks at Butterfly and she's like, I think you got Mike laid tonight. 
and they start laughing. And the girl go, turns around. She goes, um, he's just giving me a ride. And then the girls go, okay. <laughs> and they laugh, right? Uh-huh. And she goes, I'm not going to fuck him. And then he goes, you know, I can hear you. <laughs> and she's like, ah, bye. Right? And they all walk to their cars. Yeah. And then she gets to his car and they're looking at it. And she's like, well, that's fucking scary. Because it's this dope ass black Mustang with the big white skull on the front. Oh, and it's just all steel. And it's like old school. It uh-huh. looks cool. You know what I mean? And then he's like, well, I want it to be impressive and scary is impressive. And he goes, you know, it's death proof. And she goes, what? He goes, death proof. And then he explains that, you know, those old movies, he goes, you know, in movies, how when cars smash into each other, well, the driver in it's got to be okay. So the car has to be death proof. And then she's like, that's all CGI. And he goes, well, darling, you're actually right. Nowadays, it usually is. But back in the good old days. Well, there used to be real cars smashing into each other with real people driving them. And I was one of them. Right? And he goes, and this car is one of those cars. And he says how you reinforce it with all this shit, and that's how they build them for the movies. And he explains what they are. And he goes, and once you do all that, got yourself a boom, death-proof automobile. I can drive this sucker into a brick wall going 120 just for the experience. Wait. Why wouldn't they just make all cars like that? Because Sam, why wouldn't they make? You know they can make anything perfect, like to not fall apart. But if you do, how are you going to buy it again? Mm. If we make the car perfect and you can't get fix up on it, like fix ups, and it doesn't go down in twenty years, so you have to buy another car. What was the point? Wake up, Sam! We're in a fucking matrix. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blow your world like that. Your yeah. face was like, "Oh my god!" You're saying they're fucking us. They're fucking us. They're fucking us, boo. Oh, God. It makes me sad to think about, too. But, yeah. They could build things like that, but they don't. Yeah. So, she opens It probably costs a lot to to run. It would cost a lot more. gas-wise. I'm sure. Yeah. That's probably why it's not economically. And then, I mean, those cars smashing into each other. eh, You're both... Your odds are so much better of living, though. You know? Mm. If you have a death-proof car, you probably kill anyone you smash into. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, she opens her door... And, it, you know, it's like split on the side, you know, like, because you know how you would film like in a movie. Like, oh, OK. You know yeah. what I mean? Like there's the glass scene so they can, you know, get the yeah. shot and all that shit. And then she's like, what the fuck? And he explains it to her. And then it's just like this little metal seat. Right. And she puts it down and she's like, you know, when you said you were going to give me a drive home, you didn't mention you didn't have a passenger seat. And he goes, well, first off, little lady, I didn't offer you the ride home. You asked for the ride home. And secondly, you know, uh. Now, at least with this big glass thing up, you don't have to worry about me getting fresh and putting my hand on your knee. And she laughs. She's like, you're right about that. She gets in. Bam! He slams the door. He starts smoking a cigarette. You see the red car pull out right with the girls in it, uh-huh. our homies. And they pull off and they drive off. The camera kind of goes on them and then comes back on Kurt. And he looks right at the camera and smiles. Ah! Flicks the cigarette and gets in. <laughs> That's the best. How awesome is that? Because you're like, so yo, what the excited. fuck is about to happen? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I can't yell into the to the mic. It's okay. It's okay. He gets in the car. He goes, "Well, Pam, <laughs> which way are you going?" And he pulls out to the thing, and he goes, "Left or right?" And she goes, "Um." She goes, "Right." And he goes, ah. "Well, that's too bad." And the music goes, dun-dun-dun. Like, and it was no, and then all of a sudden, like, dun-dun-dun, dun-dun-dun, like that kind of shit. And then he's like, well, you see, there was a 50-50 chance you'd have been going left, uh-huh. you know? And in that case, if you were going left too, it would have been a long while before you eventually got scared. But you said you wanted to go right. And since we're both going left, you have to get scared right fucking now. And he pulls off. And she's like, what the fuck? And he veers left. Uh-huh. And she's like, what the fuck? What the fuck, you cocksucking motherfucker? Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. And he starts swerving around like this, right? And she's like, boom, 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 boom. And he's just like, and they're just flying. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is this exciting? I'm so excited. What's next? <laughs> so, I want to understand how the other women are a part of it. I can't wait. So, she, Oh, Sam. We haven't even met the main characters of the movie yet. <laughs> so the girl's just coming to. Okay? Mm-hmm. The girl starts coming to. She looks over. 
great act. God, he always finds great actors. She's like, okay. And she's like bleeding a little bit. She's like, here's the thing. I get it. They're flying. I know it's a joke. And it's, it's super funny. But if you stop right now, let me out. I'll, I'll never tell anyone. I won't, I won't tell anyone. It's just a joke, right? I, I promise. Just let me out, please. Hey, Pam. Remember when I said this car was death proof? Well, that wasn't a lie. It's 100% death proof. But to get the benefit of it, honey. You really need to be sitting in my seat. Her head smashes into the dashboard. Oh my god! Cuts her head like pretty much off. She dies. He's like, okay. <laughs> 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 how do you feel thus far, Samantha Lee? I don't know how to feel. I was so excited before, and now I'm so scared. Okay. And that is fair. He takes the pictures out of his rear view. Mm-hmm. All right. And he goes, gotta go to himself. He's like, gotta go catch my other girlfriends. And he throws the pictures out of the window. <clears throat> takes off. Yeah. All right. You see Julia on the phone. What up, Nick? Her brother's home. Oh, I'm telling your sister a dope ass Quentin Tarantino movie she's never even heard of. It's called Death Proof. You ever heard of it? No. Came out 2007. Crazy. Did you hear that scene I just told her? Yeah, I just heard all that. How fucking crazy is that? <laughs> so, the black girl's on the phone, right? And they're driving off with her and the friends in the car. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's like, Julia, and she has her foot out the window, right? And, yeah. she, and then she goes, no, no, no. It's Dave D, Dozy, Beaky, Mitch, and Titch. And the guy's like, no. Dave D, Dozy, Beaky, Mitch, and Titch. You got it? Okay, play it next song. Good boy. I love you. And she hangs up. And then the friend in the back, the girl from New Jersey, she's like, who you want to hear? And she repeats. She's like, Dave D, Dozy, Beaky, Mitch, and Titch. She's like, who the fuck are they? She's like, who the fuck are they? Pete Townsend almost quit the who and would have been in this group. And you asked me, I think he should have did it. And then the music kicks in. And she's like, ah! And it almost sounds like a Beatles song. Like, mm-hmm. if you say, well, I need another time. And I hear, hold tight, hold tight, right? And you see, as they're driving, they're all like really into it. Mm-hmm. We see Mike pass by them speeding. Okay. But they're all rocking out. So they don't he just him. flies by. All right? And then you see him go far as hell, and then he flips a bitch, and he cuts his headlights, and he just hits the gas. But he's holding the brakes. Mm-hmm. He's revving the car up, and he sees the headlights coming up, right? And then he just flies at him. He just starts going right at him, right? And he's speeding at him, and you, and you see the girls go, play it louder. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. And then the headlights come on. And they're like, what the fuck? Boom! Smash, right? You see the Whoa. white girl fly out the front of the windshield. Whoa. <laughs> crumple up on the street. Whoa. Rewind. Boom! They smash. You see the black girl, Julia, her leg flies out of the car. Like she gets ripped off. Oh. Her body rips in half out the window. Boom! You see the girl in the back seat. I mean, the, the front seat. Girl? I mean, the girl in the front seat get completely crushed by the steering wheel. Uh-huh. Like crushed into her chest. Yeah. Boom! The girl in the back seat, you see the tire go over the like over their car. The tire runs over her face and completely like knocks off her head. What? Yeah. So he stopped them all just to kill them in one instant like that? Yep. And then he, the car flips over off to the side. Uh-huh. Fades to black. I just don't understand. You spend all day stalking these women and then you kill them just with your car. You don't even rape them. I know. I don't know. That's a lot of investment when you could just kill anyone with your car. Interesting, huh? Yeah, okay, keep going. What's going to happen next? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. I do understand because it is like, first time I saw this, I was like, why the fuck did he do that? I don't understand. <sighs> I'm feeling a lot of things, Tarantino. Also, everyone that you see now, for this movie's two hours long. The first hour of this movie is now dead. Yeah, 
Everyone's gone. So that's why I told you is like, oh, you haven't met the main character. And now you make it. You're like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> this is all just like the pre, like before the credits part. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's funny. Cut to them in the hospital. Mike's alive. Stuntman Mike's alive. Okay. And he's talking to the doctors and the police. And he's like, he doesn't remember anything. And whoop de whoop, right? And you see a doctor come out and talk to the sheriff and the son from the movie Kill Bill. Okay. You remember the sheriff and Kill Bill? There's a massacre scene of the church. And, yeah. and he goes, son number one. And he talks to him like that. But it's that universe. It's that sheriff and that son. Okay. It's in that so it's universe. It's in the same world. Okay. So remember when I said Bill? Yeah. Like, oh, it's in the Kill Bill universe. Okay. Okay. So cut to him in the hospital and, and, and he's like, you know, they find out that he's banged up real good, but the girls are all completely dead, obviously. Yeah. Right. And uh, so he goes, so pop, what you think? And he goes, well, son number one. I think it's so soonish, and I hesitate to say it out loud, but he goes, well, what, Pop? I think that old boy in there murdered those gals. Used his car, just not a hatchet. Really? Well, what you going to do about it, Pop? <laughs> not a goddamn thing. All those girls are swimming in alcohol and weed in their system. He's clean as a whistle. Mm. And he goes, huh? He goes, you really think he meant to kill those gals? Well... I can think it. Can't prove it. <laughs> I mean, he was beat up too, Pop, don't you know? Yeah. But he's just beat up. All those pretty girls. You see what he did to those bodies? They're all dead. 200 pounds of real steel going right through them. Well, why'd he do it, Pop? Honestly, son number one, I think it's a sex thing. Mm. I think high velocity impact, twisted metal. Four souls taken at the same time. Probably the only way this guy can shoot his load. You said, why didn't he rape him? I, I, that's why I knew we were going to get here. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and his passenger. Well, she already had everybody in the bar saying she asked for the ride. On paper, this guy looks like a great guy. Looks like those girls called the wreck. Mm-hmm. Mm. What are you going to do about it, Pop? Well, I could work him off hour. Dog that son of a bitch. Follow him everywhere he goes. Find out how he did it and why. Or I could spend that same time and energy following the NASCAR circuit. <laughs> and he looks at his son. He's like, just because I can't punish him for what he done. You know, but if he ever does it again, I could be damn sure he don't do it in Texas. Cut. Lebanon, Tennessee. Mm. 14 months later. Okay. <laughs> Love this. You're like, yo, what is that? I don't even, because even now you still couldn't guess it. No, but it's, this is, I like that he always has I love, chapters. I love about it. I know, because it's always, it, that's what, me too, that's what I'm saying. Like, I couldn't, if I was seeing this movie, I couldn't guess it from that point. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't know what's going to happen in this chapter. It's a book. Yep. So we see his car whipping into a parking lot. Stuntman Mike. Mm-hmm. The movie cuts to black and white. It just cuts to black and white. Okay. Because in this era of movies, uh, it would also do that apparently in the theaters. Oh, cool. Where the movie would cut to black and white sometimes when it was a color movie. Yeah. All right. So now it's in black and white. We see our boy smoke a cigarette, rock music blasting. These girls er, pull up next to him. He's just staring at them as they talk amongst themselves. And he's just smirking. And he kind of looks at the camera. And then he looks back over and he keeps smoking a cigarette. And he cuts his music down. And then now we, he, like, the camera focuses on the girls and we see the girls talking. And you see this beautiful white girl and she talks of The Rock kissing her. And like, her and The Rock. The Rock? She like Dwayne? The, yeah, she says the, the rock. rock? She says The Rock. Johnson? And, and they're talking about how he spun her around. He did this sexy shit with her. And they're like, oh my God, The Rock's so sexy. We do it, right? And then there's a girl in the back. There, you see this black girl in the front. Uh, the, the white girl you recognize. You see her in some shit. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it might be wrong. I think it's the girl from Get Out. The white girl. The main girl. The evil girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's her. could be wrong, but it looks like. I feel like, like she might have been. A little too a young little too for this. Young. No, because when did girls start? Because she was on Girls, right? Yeah. She was the uptight one. It might not have been her, though. It might have been somebody else. Looks like her. It could have been her. Could have been her. Not sure. So you see her. You see this black girl that you've also seen in stuff. You, she's been in stuff with like curly hair. She's really beautiful. And then they're talking to this other girl who's laying down in the back seat with a face mask on. The great, the beautiful Miss Rosario Dawson. 
So it's another group of white, Hispanic, and another group of friends and black girlfriends. Mm -hmm. It's, it was always the same like racial structure of friendship. I think that's what he likes. He's like, God damn, all these different types of women being friends. <laughs> Not on my watch. Not on my watch. <laughs> Kurt Russell's also about other shit. Stick to your own. <laughs> so we see the girls uh, talking in the car and, and they're hanging out right and she's like, you know, she's like, "Hey, can you go in there and get me some vodka, some Red Bull, and some Apple Tans?" And the girl looks at Rosario Dawson. She's like, "Yo, I'm not, a, I'm not going in there and getting you the fucking a grocery list, bitch." You know? And the, like they all laughing, all right? And then the one girl's like, "Yo, I need some coffee before we go pick up Zoe from the airport." Mm -hmm. So they're going to pick up another friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we see his point of view, right? And he's just watching the girls. The one girl, he gets out. The one girl goes out into the store. The white girl gets out and uh, gets in the front seat, mm -hmm. and she has like a cheerleading outfit on. You don't know why, but she does, all right? And she's got headphones on and she's just singing a song. Rosario Dawson has like the face mask thing on mm -hmm. and her feet are out the window mm -hmm. like the Julia girl. You know what I mean? And they're just ah. sitting there and our boy Kurt Russell walks up and he bends down and he throws his keys near her feet. And then he gets down and he kind of like rubs his, her, his hand on her foot Ooh. and she like scratches. She doesn't think it, she just kind of scratches it like with like her foot. Mm -hmm. And then he licks his fingers and starts rubbing on her toes. And she like goes, what the fuck? And then he goes, oh, there are my damn keys. And he bends down and he gets in his car. And she's like, what? And, he's like, that, and she's like, that guy just rubbed on my feet, I think. And then he gets in his car and he drives off, like speeds off, like super fast. And like, like peels off. And then they look at each other and they're like, little dick. You know, and they both laugh. Okay? A little dick that's going to kill you. <laughs> Sam's heard this story before. This little dick murders people. And a certain group of friends like you. They should be very cautious. Yes. If you are part of a trio of women <laughs> that uh, are beautiful, by a multiracial trio. And beautiful, you're all good looking. And all good looking. And you all know, doing successful things. And you're having a good time, especially. You're just having fun. Yeah. And enjoying each other's company. Beware. You're just genuinely enjoying each other's company. Yeah. <laughs> you better be on your guard, bitches. So Rosario Dawson says she's going to go in and uh, use the ATM. She gets out the car. She looks so sexy. She's smoking a cigarette. Mm -hmm. She has a skirt, cowboy boots. Hot. I know, right? Like a, she has like a like a shirt cut in half and like a hair kind of. She has like a grunge look almost. Oh, like a like a little flannel over her. No, just like the way her hair looks. It's like oh. like rocker look. Rocker. You know what I mean? And uh, she just she's so fucking sexy in this. I think I mean, she's she so always beautiful. is. She always is. When is she met her in real life, she is that beautiful. She, in, person. Yeah, in person, even more so, I would say. Oh my god. I saw her from afar. I got to walk her up to the belly room. One of the best couple of moments of my life. Like one of the best like 15 to 30 seconds ever. Because mm -hmm. it was, they were like, hey, is there, hey, she pulled in the lot. I was like, oh my God, this was our dog. She was like, hey, I'm here for roast battle. Is it okay if I park? I was like, yes. Yeah. And then, oh. Yes, it's, it's okay. Some people, it's just okay. It's just, yep, yep. totally cool. She's one of them. <laughs> Let yep. her park. Uh, she tipped me too. She tipped like 10 bucks. Nice. That, that, fair. 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 But it wasn't like, I don't, it wasn't like, it looked like she just grabbed whatever money was in her thing also, and just handed it. you have to, this is the thing with tips is some people don't have cash. No, if all you have is a 10 and you give me a 10, that's yeah. pretty awesome. I'm Because yeah. you gave me 100% of your money. Yeah. Now, if you have like 10 20s and a couple 10s and some 5s and some 1s and you give me a 10 or a 5, it's like, oh man, damn, I wish you'd have hopped out that 20, but it's Have you ever good. had someone like give you a hundo and be like, can I get chain? I've had uh, uh, somebody give me a 10 and, or a 20 and ask for change all the time. Oof. Because they just were like, hey, can you give me like 15 back or 10 back or 5 back or whatever. Mm -hmm. I've had Marin, uh, give me a, Mark Marin give me a 5 and ask for $2 back. Nice. <laughs> and that's a good Keep tip. Keep it classy, Mark. Because he usually only gives two, but he gives you three sometimes if he likes you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And then Kevin, uh, uh, Kirk Fox will give a $2 bill. And oh yeah, I, we used I always to love two dollar bills. So I always had, I, but he'd give you a lot. So those two dollar bills kind of added up, and you kind of liked that tip for some reason. It was weird. It was like, oh, dope, two dollar bill. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way around it. If you want, like, yeah. <laughs> if you want to tip really low, <laughs> but still surprise, keep a nigga happy. <laughs> yeah, a two dollar bill. Just go to the bank, get a bunch happy. out. Because <laughs> you're like, oh damn, look at what am I? Gonna, I got a two dollar bill. This is awesome. Also, you could just keep a bunch in your uh, wallet at all times and know that that's just specifically for tipping. That's true. It's because you're like, when you spend them anywhere else. That's a good point. So, back to our girls. Oh, yeah. They're going to the ATM. She goes inside of the ATM. <laughs> the, she gets a... <laughs> she goes inside of the ATM. 
Uh, she as she's going in, she, our Zoria Dawson. She's smoking a cigarette. She's about to flick it. She looks up. She sees the black car in the middle of the street again, and then it speeds off again. Mm. And she's like, "Hmm." So she goes in, and as she comes in, the color comes back too. So you see, like, remember I said it went black and white. Oh yeah. So now the movie's back in color again. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. So you see their car too is super dope. It's like it looks like a something out of Kill Bill, like the colors. Uh huh. You know they're like that black. But it didn't, and yellow. you didn't get any of that vibe until the color. No, it was all black and white. Wow, that's cool. It's super like just the just that's right the cool like effect. that. Yeah, and then uh, you see her go inside, and then her somebody calls her cell phone, and her cell phone is the thing is the sound from Kill Bill. The <laughs> so it's just in that universe. It's weird. Oh, creepy. So she answers the phone, and it's the friend from the car going, "Hey, can you give me this uh, this magazine that's in there? I'm in it." And she's like, I got you, girl. And then she's in. She opens up to the middle cover and her friend's in it because she's an actress. Uh -huh. And she's like, all right, dope, right? So she gets the magazine, cuts to the girls walking, right? They pick up their friend from the airport. So you see the four girls walking now. Oh, there's four now. There's four. It has to be four. Right? Is it another white girl? Another white girl. But she's international. We don't know this yet. Ah. I'll let you know when we get there. So you see them take their own. Like, but you see... The way, only way, the reason you see these four girls walking up is somebody's taking Polaroid shots of them. You see this white girl doing all this cool acrobatic shit with her body too. Like, damn, she's okay. strong as fuck. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh, and you hear you hear behind the camera, oh boy, oh man, like that. Just be they're all they're all, all the girls are gorgeous too. Uh -huh. They're all super hot. So, cut to them sitting down eating. You find out Rosario Dawson is a makeup person. Okay. The Lee girl is an actress. The black girl named Kim is a stunt person. And the homie they just picked up from the airport is also a stunt person named Zoe. Okay. The white girl. She's Australian. Ah, Aussie mate. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. She's uh, from New Zealand. Oh, Kiwi mate. She's a Kiwi mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and so uh, they're, they're just like the, and the other girls. They're talking about like men they dated and all this shit, right? Mm -hmm. And you find out that they're, uh, they're all working. The Zoe girl's there to visit. The Zoe is the Australian girl. The other girls are all together because they're working on a job right now. They're all working on a movie, like literally in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Zoe girl's just coming to visit, hang out with their friends. Okay. So, also what's cool, the Zoe Bell girl, she, her name is actually in real life Zoe Bell, the white girl from Australia, and she's really a stunt woman. She was the one who did all the cool stunts in the Kill Bill movies. For Uma Thurman. Oh, really? She did all this. So she was the one really doing all this stuff. Oh, that's cool. So she's like super, she's like a super famous stunt woman. Wow. Because she's like a super badass, apparently. And it, like you could tell it too. Like this woman's a badass. Like, does she look like her? Uma Thurman? She's blonde. Uh, she, no, she didn't look like Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman definitely, that's why she's like, this girl's like just a badass who's like, she's good looking, but. But I just meant like. She's not like she's gorgeous. Similar. No, no, um. no. No, but no, she doesn't look like her at all. She wouldn't remind you of her or anything like that. She's not like, a, she wouldn't be her double. She was just her stunt double. Mm -hmm. You know? So. Uh, the girls are talking and you see like the girl in the cheerleader outfit talking about this one dude she's dating who likes to watch her pee and they make fun of her, right? And then she's like, oh, but now she's dating with The Rock and then the Zoe goes, like, you're dating The Rock? And she's like, no, not the real Rock. We just call him The Rock because he looks like The Rock. And they're like, oh, exactly, right? And then, uh, and then Kim, the black girl, says she has a man so she's you know been locked down for three months and then she's like, oh, who you stealing from? And then she's like, girl, why you always got to say that? You know I ain't stealing from nobody. And they're all like, bullshit. Every man you've ever got, you stole a motherfucker. She's like, I don't call it stealing. Them motherfuckers be jumping ship. Whew. Ooh, so you like Whew. you like this group already? They remind me a lot of an, another group we met earlier. That you already kind of like. <laughs> that I liked. And it was ripped from my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they go, okay, Abernathy. And you find out that's Abernathy? Rosario Dawson's name. Abernathy. Abernathy? That's her name. Abernathy? Abernathy. That so Abernathy, mean... Zoe, Kim, and Lee. <sighs> okay. You don't like that name? I liked it. I thought it was, I like it was cute it. on her in this movie. It's just one of those names. It's like, how would you ever get through school with it? Oh, my God. Never. So much work. You're never getting through anything with it. Because it's not thing. even the kids. It's the teachers not knowing what they're saying. You know. <laughs> oh, it's so much. So they go, Abernathy, what about you? And she apparently has had a crush on some dude on set. 
Mm. Right? One of the like famous people, like the director or something. And then uh, they're like, oh, he loves you. And she's like, well, if he loved me, he wouldn't have fucked Daryl Hannah Standen on set the other day. And they're all like, oh, shit. And she's like, oh, it's so funny. Men are dogs. Ha, ha, ha. She's such a good actress. She's like, oh, yeah, it's so funny. It's so funny how men are dogs. Oh, my heart. Like, you know, like, oh, it hurt my feelings. But oh, let's just laugh it off. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, and the best part, and the best part, he fucked her on my birthday, Zoe. <gasps> and then Zoe's like, ooh, that's a horse of a different color there. Right, and then they keep digging in the Abernathy story with the guy, and apparently she never fucked the guy. And they're like, "What do you mean you never fucked?" She's like, "I never did anything with him." And they're like, "Bitch, you acting like he's twelve years old. He acting like a man, mm. you know." And she's like, "And then Zoe's like, so you're not fucking him, you're not sucking him, you're not giving him any tongue, but the stand-in is." And then all the girls start laughing and keep making fun of her, and then they laugh and they like high five. She's like, "Man, fuck y'all's little high five. You know, fuck y'all. You know, like, I'm sorry that I'm not one of those girls. She's like, you don't need to be one of those girls. You need to give that nigga a hand job. She's like, I'm not going to do that. And then she goes, you know who will? And she's like, probably that bitch will end up in the mansion. And all the girls are like, oh, they're just like making fun of her. Yeah. Right? So they stop to eat again. And they're telling stories of when Zoe Abernathy and Kim, they're telling Lee stories of how they were all working together on this project once. Uh-huh. This uh, karate movie. They were like, I, I forgot where they were. They were like. Asia or something, you know, they're somewhere like that, somewhere cool, right? And they're working on this movie together, and they're drunk as shit one night, and uh, she's like, and, and Zoe wants to take a picture of me, and she's like, back up, back up, keep backing up, and I'm backing up, and my dumb ass is backing up, and all of a sudden, I almost fall in a ditch, right? And I'm going off on Zoe, Zoe, you fucking idiot, you almost fucking killed me, okay? Mm-hmm. So time goes by, and when you know it, and then Zoe goes, I'll be damned. If I didn't fall in that same ditch. And they all start laughing, right? And she goes, I remember thinking when I was falling, damn, this is that ditch she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all laughing. And they're like, she's like, oh my God, Lee's like, so what happened? And they're like, oh, nothing. That's the whole thing. Zoe, this fucking cat lands on her feet. And Zoe's like, like smiles and like that, right? And apparently these stories were true. Like it, about the Zoe girl. Mm, not like. Like stories. This for, is actually uh-huh. one of her true stories. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not that the actresses were acting, uh-huh. act, but like that was actually something that happened to her mm-hmm. on a set one time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just I love that like this is like her real That's in funny. a Quentin Tarantino movie and all she's a, she's a, not an actress, she's just a stunt woman. She's just a stunt This woman. is her acting thing. That's I think cool. that's so dope that that's he really gave dope. her a whole fucking movie. He must have liked her. He must, she, I mean, she does seem super awesome. Like, when you see her, she's so immediately lovable. Sometimes you just meet people and you like them. That's true. And she's, I mean, she's a badass too. She can do all the fight mm-hmm. stuff. So... They talk about how she's a cat, and they start talking about how Zoe's unbelievable, and she can do all these human, uncrazy feats, and like mm-hmm. all this crazy shit, right? And most human, they're like, "Fuck men." Most human beings can't fuck with Zoe. Like she's a badass. Also, hey ladies, this is how you give women empowerment. This is a whole story uh, about women. Yeah, and all the women are cool. Killing them. Oh, that's true. Damn. <laughs> Kill Bill's a better example. But this is pretty cool because it's like th- this has all been about women. It has. But it, Kill Bill is a better example. This one, women keep getting massacred. Women are, it's not good stuff happening in the Kill Bill to Yeah, women. but they're doing it to each other. They are doing it. And it's like, and it's pers- I'd rather it's have personal. woman on woman crime. <laughs> yeah, woman on woman crime is totally, I totally get that. So, <laughs> so they talk about how uh, Zoe's unbelievable and shit. And can't they go, she goes, hey, Kim, you still pack that Roscoe? And Kim's like, of course, girl, you know I got it on me. And she holds up the gun on her leg. And Lee's like, oh, my God, you carry a gun on you? And she's like, are you licensed? And she's like, yeah, I'm licensed. And then her and Zoe laugh. And they're like, she goes, Abernathy, did you know she carried a gun? She's like, yes, I do, but I don't approve. And then, right? And then she goes like, I, you know, I've told her a million times, people who carry guns tend to get shot more. And she goes, yo, fuck that. At midnight when I'm going down to do my laundry, I ain't trying to get raped. And then the, the, Lee's like, well, don't do your laundry at midnight. She's like, fuck you. If I want to do my laundry at midnight, I'm going to do my laundry at midnight. Which is also, I get, that's the best time to do your laundry. I don't yeah. know why. Yeah. It's just the best time to do it, late, late at night. And then uh, she goes, I do it when I want. I like to do it in the morning. You like it in the morning. I like it late at night. You never do the laundry. I know, not anymore, but I'm saying when I used to do it. Oh, okay. I used to, you know, there was a life before you. You, you didn't re- smell like you did your laundry before I met Get out. Get out of my podcast. <laughs> Cut it off. Cut the cameras off. Get out. Get out of my podcast. You get up. God, she's so cute. I, but I want to, her to leave me. I so, want to leave you. Because you're mean to me. Aww. You don't even care. I don't. Get out of here. <laughs> so, they're like, uh, 
why don't you, girl, why don't you get like some pepper spray or some shit? And she's like, pepper spray? I'm not trying to get that nigga a pepper rash. A motherfucker trying to rape me. I'm trying to put that motherfucker out. Pepper spray will put you out. I, it will, but dep- sometimes it's like a big guy. You didn't get him good enough. Like, who knows, man? I guess not. I've never, every ex- person I've told, ah, every person I talked about has used pepper spray. It seems like it's, you get yourself as well. That's why you don't want that either. Yeah. You know what I mean? I get how a gun's like, hey, I'm getting him. Yeah. Scares you though, boo boo. You don't have to hold the gun. I like to pretend there aren't guns. I know, baby. My girl's so sweet. Isn't she the sweetest thing you've ever seen? She likes to pretend there's a world with no guns. No guns. It's all Nerf guns. Yep. And everybody who died in the war died Nerf deaths. Yeah. And Nerf guns aren't bad. No. It's Nerf guns and pool noodles. That's all that there is. And pool noodles our, hurt more than a Nerf but gun. But people are still murdering people with these objects. <laughs> so yes. it's still really dangerous. People are dying at the hands of pool noodles. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they go, Zoe, now that you're in America, what do you want to do first? First. And she's like, I know exactly what I want to do. I want to drive an American muscle car. Dodge Challenger. I want to drive. Balls out. A 1970 Dodge Challenger with a 440 engine. And they all start laughing their ass off. They're like, how the fuck do you expect to do that? We were talking a little something more like go see the Grand Canyon or some shit, you yeah. know? And she's like, don't worry, mate. I got it all figured out. And then they're like, Lee goes, what part of Australia are you from? And she goes, what'd you say, mate? And then she's about to kick her ass. And she's like, oh, my God, I'm sorry. I just." And then they all, I'm just taking the piss out of you, mate. I'm from Auckland. Is That's that, where I lived. In Auckland, New Zealand? That's where I lived, yeah. I lived there for just like six months. So you were, you were living months. with the Aukies? With the Aukies. Is that what they call themselves? I've never heard anyone say that before. What'd they call themselves? They call Auckland? themselves Kiwis because they're all New Zealanders. Oh, so everyone in New Zealand calls themselves Kiwis. Yeah. And then everyone I think they in do. Australia is People Aussies. People call them Kiwis. Or do they just call each other Kiwis and Aussies? They call each other mate. They say Aussie. Oh, yeah. all, Aussies all day, mate. Aussies all day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so... She's like, yo, I did my homework. A guy selling the car, and like, she's saying, like, a guy selling the car, and she's looking for. Uh, she's like, like, so you're gonna buy it? She's like, no, I'm not stupid. I'm gonna say I'm gonna buy it, right? And they're like, what? She's like, so I can test drive it. And she says she wants to do it because of some her favorite movie ever was Vanishing Point, and how it has this car, that car in it, and how it's one of the best movies ever made. Mm-hmm. And Abernathy's like, I've never heard of it. And then the Kim, the black girl's like, don't worry, most girls haven't. And she's like, what do you mean most girls haven't? She's like, hey, we're gearheads. She's like, you know, you. I'm sure you grew up on like Pretty in Pink and like 16 Candles and shit. And she's like, what? so you didn't watch John Hughes movies? And then the Kim girl's like, of course I watch John Hughes movies. I'm a girl. <laughs> she's like, but you know, I'm also a badass. So I watch this shit too. I'm also a badass. You like to watch a bunch of shit, but you also like John Hughes. Who doesn't like John Hughes? I love John Hughes. I know. I'm not judging. Uh, you don't judge John Hughes. I'm not judging the John He makes man. a good movie. Makes a damn good movie. So the girls pull up to a house. And it's the dude from the Adam Sandler movies, like Water Boy, talk like this, you know. Yeah. That guy, it's him. And uh, they ask, is like, yo, is the Dodge Challenger for sale? And he's like, I'll come check it out. And Kim and Zoe go look at it, and they open it up, and they look at the engine, and they're like, holy shit, it's this beautiful white old school Challenger, right? It mm-hmm. just looks amazing. So Zoe's like, Kim, come in. And they go off to the side, and she's like, so if he lets us take it out, you want to play shit mast? And then she's like, no, I don't want to. She's like, shh. And she's like, you promised you would never do that shit again. And you said, not only did, didn't you promise you wouldn't do it again, but if you brought it up, I was allowed to physically beat your ass for bringing it up and trying to make me want to do it again. And she's like, oh, come on. She's like, what? But however, she's like, I didn't mean in America. Oh, nigga, please. She's like, but I didn't. Seriously, I meant never again in New Zealand and Australia. That's where we would never do it again. I said that, but you know, I never knew I was coming to America. And if I did, and if I knew I'd have the vanishing challenger point car, I would have added a however well back when I said that. And the black girl goes, I understand that. But however, you need two people to play shit mass, and my ass ain't playing. And she goes, oh. and she's like, turns around, she's like this. She's like, Zoe. She's like, Kim, I'll be your best friend. She's like, I don't need your ass to be my best friend. You're gonna leave and go back across, halfway across the earth in a couple days. I'll crack your back. Oof. She's like, ooh. She's like, you'll do it anyway. She's like, yeah, but I'll, I'll do it all your time. I'll be the crack back and slay. You can just be like, bitch, get to it. And here I come. Cracking your back. That is something that women really need is a good back a crack. Good, I know you ask for it all the time, Sam. She asked for and it And if you know how time. to crack a back, it's super important to a friendship or a relationship. <laughs> right? No, you psycho. <laughs> so... 
What's shit mask? Are we going to find out? I feel like this is like chicken. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, they go they go back and forth. And she's like, all right, I want foot massages too. And I want you to rub my butt with oil every time I get out of the shower. Ooh. And she's like, deal, deal. So they go, they tell Abernathy, hey, so we're going out. We need you and Lee to stay with the guy and talk to him so we can take the car out. And she's like, what? How come fuck I got to come stay with like, the guy? And how come I never, you guys never bring me out for fun? You always do this to me. And they're like, hey, you don't want to come out, come out with us. We're doing. We're gonna. Ha- we're gonna be doing a little much. She's like, "What? You're gonna be driving fast? We're gonna be doing more than that. Oh, you're gonna be driving super fast. Look, we're doing stupid shit. Okay, so shut your ass up. You don't want to come with us." She's like, "Well, how do you guys know I don't want to do it? Right? Come on." And they're like, "Look. Besides the fact that we're about to go be daredevils, we don't want to get into it with this guy that we're about to go do something with this car. Right? Besides, he might not even let us take it out anyway." And then Abernathy's like, "Well." If I convince them to let you take it out, I get to go too. Okay, so now they're just leaving her one friend behind? I know, right? It's not fair. And then she's like, what are you going to do, blow them? And she's like, no. I'll insinuate Lee will blow them. And then they laugh. She's like, no, not really. Okay, but let me handle it. And if I get, get them to go, we got a deal? And they go, okay, we got a deal. But mama, listen up. You hang with the cool kids, you be cool. You sit in the back of the car. You don't nag us. You don't say anything. You shut the fuck up or we will pull over, kick you out, and pick you up later. Do you understand? You don't say shit. Agreed? And Abernathy's like, mm-hmm. Go work your magic, girl. And Abernathy goes off to the guy, right? She comes over. She's like, so hi. Me and my friends were wondering if we could possibly, before we buy the car, take it out for a test drive. And the guy's like, why do you think I'm so stupid? I'd let you do something like that. You might steal it. And he's like, well, I have four reasons why we won't. First, we're not thieves. Secondly, that's so rude. <laughs> She's how cute is Rosaria Dawson. <laughs> she goes, thirdly, me and my friend Kim are literally staying at the Holiday Inn. And she gives the address. In this room, you can call. You can track us down. You know, mm-hmm. we're pretty easily there. We're going off credit cards. So you would be able to find us easily. And fourth, and most importantly, we're going to leave our friend Lee here befi- behind. And you can keep company with her. And he goes, why is she dressed like that? Well, she's an actress. And he's like, that's why she looked familiar. I see he says the things you've seen her in. And then she's like, and she's doing a cheerleader movie right now. And he's like, oh, that's like a porno. She goes, not exactly. <laughs> Cut to, you see, they, they're they all in the white challenger. And they go, hey, Lee, we'll be right back. All right, bye. And they speed off. And, and she's, like, she's like, what? And the guy's like, hey. And she's like, ah. <laughs> and it cuts. <laughs> How fuck! I always thought that was the most fucked up uh, thing ever. That's so fucked up. But also, she's in a cheerleading uniform. You're gonna get left behind. <laughs> but that's because they just left set that they were working on. Oh yeah, that's not fair. That's not fair to her. Yeah, because one girl's a stunt double and then she does makeup. The other girl, she's like an actress. <laughs> so the girls drive off. They get to a road and they stop. Okay. It's quiet. Zoe and Kim are in the front and they look at each other and they're like, thinking what I'm thinking. And she's like, I'm thinking. And the Abernathy goes, what are you guys thinking? They're like, shut the fuck up. And she's like, I got to take a piss. And they both get out and slam the door and like ignore her, right? Mm -hmm. And they get out to the road and they look around. And then Kim's like, Zoe, are you ready to do this? And Zoe's like, I mean, I'm never really ready right before. And she's like, good, because I don't want to do it anyway. And she's like, well, don't take the piss out of it. And she's like, okay, okay. You want to start on the top? I mean, it doesn't count if you don't start on the top. And they both laugh really hard, right? And they pull out gloves, and then Kim pulls out a jacket, and Zoe, it, like, Zoe pulls out a jacket and puts it on. Mm-hmm. And Kim's like, yo, I'm wearing the jacket. And she's like, what? It's my jacket. She's like, yo, aren't you supposed to be my some slave or some shit? The reason I'm doing this, give me that fucking jacket. She's, oh. She gives her the jacket, right? Mm-hmm. And then they get a belt, and she's like, she, Zoe takes her belt off, and she's like, all right, give me your belt. And Kim's like, oh, this is my cute shit. Take Abernathy's belt. And they're like, all right, cool. And so they go back and they get Abernathy. Like, Abernathy, give her your belt. And Abernathy's like, magic word. And like, please. And they're like, fine. She gives her a belt, right? And so they take the belts and they tie them up to the doors. And then they close the doors. Uh-huh. Abernathy starts giving them shit. And they, she's like, Abernathy, you need to shut the fuck up. Like, seriously, this is not the time, all right? But get serious. They speed off. Like, real fast. Okay. At, like the windows are down, and Abernathy's like, "Hey, he's like, hey, can you guys roll up the windows at least? Shut up, Abernathy!" And then the movie cuts, and then you see Zoe's angle, right? And she's like, "Hey, Abernathy, check this out, mate!" And she gets out the car, 
mm. as they're driving full speed and she's holding on to one of the belts and she climbs up on the roof and she grabs onto the, one of the other belts uh-huh. and then she works her way down and Abernathy's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? She's quiet. And they're like, mm, they're speeding up and then she climbs down the front and she's like, all right, faster you black bitch. And she's like, oh, you want to fast, you skinny, bony ass motherfucker? Mm, and then they're just flying, right? And she's on the front of the car. Woo! Woo! Ship's mast. Yeah. These bitches are crazy. Crazy. But I guess if you're a stunt double, that's the kind of thing you like to do. Mm-hmm. As you can see, these are the, these are girls like earlier, but these are not the same kind no, of girls. No, these are adrenaline junkies. Different kind of girls. Okay. All right. So, also stunt women. Mm-hmm. So, they're driving. They're going fast and shit. She's like, Abernathy, get your ass on the front. Abernathy gets on the front. And she's all scared. And then Rosario Dawson, she's such a good actress. You see her face go from scared to like, yeah like this is awesome right and they're flying down the road and you see the camera pan back off them into binoculars we see our boy Kurt Russell watching and he's smiling (sighs) heavy drums kicking he gets in his car he speeds off down the mountain you Uh see him coming down this mountain road Uh right Abernathy turns and she sees something coming behind him and she's like oh my god and Kim's like what the fuck and you see this nigga Boom! He smashes right into the back of him. Oh, and so Jesus. he's like, what the fuck? And they're like, Zoe! Right? And then the black car slows down and then it speeds up again. Boom! Boom! Zoe loses his grip on one of the belts. Oh my God! Oh my God! Hold on, Zoe! Zoe! Oh my God! He gets behind him. He hits him again. He hits him again, right? And she loses one of the other belts. Now she's literally just holding onto the hood and she's screaming. She's like, oh my God! Oh my God, Kim! I'm sorry I called you a black bitch. I'm sorry. And she's like, it's okay, Zoe. Just hold on. Hold on. You redneck neck lunatic. Fuck you. Fuck you. What's wrong with you? You're going to kill our friend. They're going so fast, bro. Uh-huh. They're flying. He hits them again and again. And she's like, Zoe's crying. I'm so scared, Kim. Please, please. I'm so scared. Zoe, hold on. Boom. Kurt Russell's yelling, yeah. You want to get me hot, you fucking bitches? Come on, motherfuckers. Boom, boom, hitting the car. Zoe's flinging, just holding on uh-huh, to the hood, uh-huh. right? She's uh, like, Zoe's like, fuck you. She's now turned around. So now her face is forward. Like she looks like the ornament on the hood. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And she's holding on to her feet or holding on to like the windshield oh, like that. Oh, okay, yeah. You know? And she's crying, bro, cry, all of them. They're all mm-hmm. crying their eyes out. They're such good actors. They're all just crying, right? And he keeps hitting them. because it, it just makes it feel real. And they're like, Abernathy, Abernathy. You know, and she's like, I mean, it's like oh, my God, kid, Zoe. Finally, another car comes, and it spins Kurt off the road. But he spins for a second, and he's able to get right back behind him. Oh, God. So they're not able to slow down enough to get her off. Yeah. So they're, they're driving. Zoe, hold on. Hold on. He gets him. He hits him again. And when he hits him again, his car kind of spins out. And they kind of stop, and fucking Zoe goes flying. No! Right? And then he stops, right? And they're both like, (gasps) and he gets out and he goes, hey, ladies, (laughs) that was fun. Adios! Bam! She shoots his ass in the shoulder. He shoots him. Remember, homegirl's got a gun. Kim got a gun. Remember, Kim ain't playing. Yeah. Remember that gun came in fucking handy. I can tell you forgot. And then he's like, ah! And then he gets in the car and he starts driving. And she's just unloading. And then, like, the, he drives away, right? And it's quiet. And they're both like, <gasps> they're just crying. And then you hear Zoe go, I'm okay. And she pops up. How'd she, like, like, survive? They're like, you fucking Zoe, of course she's okay. She's a fucking cat. Remember? Yeah. She is- fell in the ditch. Yeah. She always lands on her feet. She's Zoe. Wow. Okay. And she comes back to the window and she's like, oh. Did you get a look at the maniac? And they're like, yeah, we did. I shot his punk ass too. Then he sped off. And Zoe is like, I love Zoe. She goes, want to go get him? (sighs) Yo, isn't this bad? It's just like, yo. And then uh, the black girl goes, hell yeah. Abby, maybe you want to get out. And Abernathy goes, fuck that shit. Let's kill this bastard. And Zoe's like, all right, mate. And then they're like, come on. They they start the car up. And then Zoe goes, wait a minute. And she runs off. And they're like, where are you going? And she goes. And she grabs a metal pipe. And she's like, "Mm -hmm." and then she runs back. And she hops on the car, like straddling it. And they speed off. She's such a badass, bro. 
So Kurt Russell, he has blood all over his, sh- his fucking car, right? Yeah. And he pulls over and he's like, oh, oh, and he grabs some bourbon that he has in the seat mm-hmm. and he drinks it. And then he's like, come on, do it, do it. Just do it, do it. Ah! Ah! And he pours it all over his shoulder and yeah. shit. And he's like, oh, oh, God, get it together. Get it together. And he looks in his rearview mirror and he's like, what the? Bam! They smash into his head. Nice. He's like, oh what the Oh my gosh, fuck? the poor guy. So he hops out the car immediately, bro, with the metal pipe. Psh, bashes his window, uh-huh. boom, gets hit, starts hitting him and poking him in his shoulder. Ah, oh, yeah, you like that, motherfucker, hey? Huh? You like that? Boom, boom, boom. Ah, oh, you crazy bitch. And he drives off, right? Uh-huh. They fucking er, flip the challenge around, pick up Zoe. They get on his ass. Uh-huh. So now they're chasing him, right? And they're fucking hitting him. Boom, ah, boom, boom, ah, yeah, motherfucker. Oh, you don't like it up the ass, huh? You don't like it up the ass. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, you crazy bitch. I'm the horniest motherfucker on the road, motherfucker. Boom, boom. And they're all like, get him, go, get him. And she's like, oh, I'm going to bust a nut in this bitch. Boom, boom. She's just hitting this motherfucker, dog. And she's like, oh, uh-huh. Oh, I can't get him. Let him get away without tapping. And they're like, Kim, that ass, Kim, one more time. And she hits him, and they both go flying over like a like on a ramp. Oh. Onto like a freeway with like other cars. Whoa! So now they're on a freeway and they keep fucking on his ass and they keep fucking on him. And then stuntman Mike finally turns and he thinks he gets away. And they're like, nope. And they like they come back and swerve and uh-huh. spin and they stay on his ass. Thought you lost this motherfucker. Uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. I'm sorry. And he's like, and they get up beside him and they're like, boom boom. He's like, ah. And he goes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just playing around. He sounds like a homeboy from Green Mile. I was just um, playing. I was just playing. <laughs> He's like, I was just, and then they go, oh. oh. They're like, they look at each other. They're like, oh, he was just playing. He was just playing. How much would you not give a fuck? Oh, he was just, oh, you, oh, you thought killing my friend. It was just funny. Was funny, just, funny, time, fun times. Funny, funny, fun times, Sam. Funny, funny, fun times. Funny, funny, fun times. And he's like, funny, I'm funny, sorry. Boom, they hit him again, right? When they hit him again, he goes like this, and they split, and he thinks he gets his way, and he's like, Jesus fucking Christ, <gasps> about time, oh God, oh God, and the camera pans back, and you see them above him, like on a little mountain, right, and they're following him, and then they're like, please don't let it be a dead end, and then they all start chanting, please don't let it be a dead end, please don't let it be a dead end, please don't let it be a dead end, and then it just goes right back down, and they're like, oh, there you are, motherfucker, Boom! And they hit his ass and they flip his car over. Right? So they get him out the car and you see he's already, he's like, oh, oh my arm's broken. My, my arm, help, help me. And they drag him. They go, oh, we're going to help you, motherfucker. Stand him up. And they beat his fucking ass. Push, push, push. And he's like, they're hitting him like in a circle, like that. Right? Like in Kill Bill, how you know she's uh-huh. hitting the homegirl yeah. in a circle. Like they're hitting her just like that. Push, push, fucking beating her ass. And even Abernathy's hitting her ass. And she's like, ah! Uh-huh. Bam! Hits his ass again. Yeah. Fucking him up. His blood everywhere. He finally falls, and Zoe kicks him. Boom! And then, dun, 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 and then the end. Death proof. It's just like that? Just like that. It's just over? And then the credits start rolling, and you see Abernathy lift up her leg, and she has cowboy boots on, uh-huh. and she, boom, brings it down and completely smashes his skull. Kills him. Credits roll. Dope-ass Tarantino music plays. What? That's death proof. It just ends like that. The girls kill his ass. Yo, that was the craziest movie ever. Tarantino, huh? Yeah, Tarantino. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty good, eh? <laughs> What'd you think, Boo Boo? Oh, that was great. Oh my gosh. I definitely thought it was going to be like, I didn't know it was just going to be two sets of that happening. I thought it was going to happen like three times. Like, I thought we were going to kill these girls, and there would be another set of girls. No, these girls weren't playing. But you can already tell, like you said, these girls were high octane. Yeah. And also, in the movie, when you see these girls, they don't look as girly. as The girls in the beginning of the movie look all girly. Mm -hmm. Like, they're cute and sexy and all this. Mm -hmm. These girls are sexy, too, but it's different. They look way more tough. Just, just other than than Rosario. Rosario looks like she could have been with the other crew. What about the cheerleader? And the actress girl, my bad. But the two other girls, they didn't have no other girls. They didn't have no girls like that in their crew. Some Kill Bill shit. Kill Bill shit. It's cool. What did you think of Kurt Russell? Oh my gosh, I love that he like breaks the fourth wall and like smiles at, at the, the camera. camera when he's yo when he does it that first time because it's the whole movie because you're like what's his deal and then he does that and you're like oh shit. Oh, 
I, I I'm excited to watch it because of the like the whole energy of it. You can tell it's that like the choices he's making with the film will be fun to watch just because mm -hmm. from your descriptions. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm glad. I mean, I know you love Tarantino dialogue. I do. What'd you think That's of great. Where'd you think of this one now, now that you've seen this one? This one's great. Um, it's hard to understand how long it would be from Two the hours. description. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is the first, which, um, which story is longer? The, the beginning girls and like the lead up and showing kind of what Kurt Russell does, or is it the second part with the, the new the first girl? I'd say the the first part of the story is like fifty minutes. Second part of the story is like forty five. Okay. So it's like a little bit longer for the first part for okay. the setup. You know what I mean? I guess because you're setting up Kurt Russell too, mm -hmm. so you're setting up a little bit more. Whereas the second half, there's no Kurt, Kurt Russell barely until the end isn't really even in it. It's just really about the second group of girls. You know. Uh, also, this movie came out with another movie, but it's not a Tarantino movie. The other movie is a Roberto, I think Roberto Rodriguez, or is it Guillermo del Toro? But they came out with a double feature. So this one's Death Proof, and the other one's called Planet Terror. I remember that movie. And they came out in this thing called Grindhouse. That's what, and it was like the Grindhouse double feature, right? That's what they were called. Uh -huh. <clears throat> they both came out. But I love Planet Terror. Is cool. It's Planet a dope Terror one. is the one with. Uh, no, that's not the one with uh, Rose McGowan, where she's got the. The leg. That's it, yeah. Shotgun. That's a badass movie. Yeah, yeah. I saw that movie, yeah. That movie, it, 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 that movie was a double feature with this movie. Whoa. So they were, they were meant to, uh, and I watched them like this, they're meant to be watched back to back. Okay. Awesome watching them back to back. Too. It's like cool, because you know, just, but they weren't, but that one isn't a Tarantino movie. How old was So was there several Grindhouse, like, double features, or was it just that one? I think they were just giving that homage, to, like, apparently that's how horror movies back in the day used to be. Uh-huh. Okay. Because they're shot very similar. They look the same, too, the way they're shot and stuff. Okay. But I just like this one better because it has that Tarantino-style dialogue. Yeah. Whereas the other one, it's cool dialogue, but it's a little more action-y. Mm-hmm. I mean, you remember had the, the girl with the leg and all that shit. Like, it's a little more action-y, whereas this yeah, one. Yeah, I can't remember what it was about. Yeah, but, but, but this one is like, I, I, this one stuck, but I always remember mm -hmm. what this one was about because it was like, I've never seen this movie before where these girls are getting murdered by a stuntman <sighs> and it's fucking car. Oh, dude, what a crazy guy. Like, that's what turns you on. I love how they just spell out what he does, too. Yeah. They're like, hey, if you didn't get it from the lead up, <laughs> we'll have the sheriff just spell it out. We'll have the sheriff just break it down for you. What a movie. That was great. Thank you. Oh, dude. Yeah, that was scary when you were doing that, and then you'd look over at me. <laughs> Breath. Death proof. Go watch it, motherfuckers. Tarantino lovers, we did it for you. I'm a Tarantino lover as well. We'll do some more Tarantinis in the future, I promise. We got one Tarantini. more on the list for Sam that she hasn't seen. Unless it comes out with more in the future. But I'm not going to do Sam like that. I'll let her see Tarantini movies. Other people haven't seen Tarantini movies, and I'll do those with them. See you later, Bean Mafia. <laughs>